Hey Tubes, I just uh, picked this up from Fastenal here. I want to make a quick video of it. Let me take, I already uh, unscrewed the top of it. It was held down with uh, about uh, 8 to 10 nice long screws. Really, really nicely packaged too. A nice crate. It's, uh, what we have here is a, a 1936 Johnson twin, twin cylinder. And uh, uh, some young fella got hold of me and told me he, uh, he had an engine in his shed. He used to belong to his grandfather, you know. And he told me he was an outboard and everything. I don't know if I'd be interested in it, you know. And uh, he, was, he was just interested in seeing that it wasn't going to, you know, rot away to dust, you know. And uh, I said, yeah, I'd be interested in it. And he didn't ask me for a dime or nothing, you know. He he just uh, he packed it up and uh, made arrangements to send it to me. So let me uh, let me finish. And he did a nice job. Look, even down here, he's got uh, got clamps on it and everything. I mean, the thing is solid, solidly mounted. And then under there, he's even got uh, rags under it. So he took real good care of it, trying to send it to me, get get it to me uh, in one piece. So let me uh, let me take it out of the box here, and we'll take a better look at it. All right, I took it. I just threw it up on a fence here, just to take a, a little better look at it. it. Looks to be a pretty good shape, you know. I mean, considering what how old it is and everything, like I say, it's 1936, and uh, in good shape, but well used, you know. Propellers in good shape and everything. The, and the only thing I see missing is is the steering handle, which is which is no problem. That's only a piece of stick sticking out really but uh, it appears to be in really good shape and he said uh, he had it running you know he says the carburetor you know was giving a little trouble but uh, it did run so uh, I don't know how I can't turn the, the thing right now but I might not be doing something something might be locked in but uh, we're gonna get it running and uh, pretty it up and uh, make it into a show engine and uh, like I say it, it all it appears to all be there Got an old Johnson carburetor, and it's a, it's a model 200. I think they only made that one year, 1936. But we're gonna clean that up. But anyway, uh, enough about the engine. I want to thank them, Jordan. Uh, thanks a lot, and we're gonna do it right for you. Make Grandpa proud of us. But uh, uh, Jordan's—he's uh, just starting a new channel over there. He's a college student. He's an engineer, and. He's building some kind of dyno. It's it's even above my my uh, knowledge and stuff. But uh, he's a college student, and it's for competition. But uh, appreciate it if you guys go over there and uh, support him a little bit. Like I said, I don't think he has any subscribers at all. I think I was his first subscriber. But uh, I'm going to put a link in the description there and uh, go over there and thank him for this and. Uh, We'll give him a little support for that project he's doing. It, look, it looks pretty interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see how it turns out. But uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think his, his YouTube channel is Engineering for Life. I'll put a link in the description. But And his name is Jordan. But uh, go on over there and uh, let's support these kids because uh, that's the future of the country there. And... Uh, it was uh, real nice of him to send this to me. He didn't have to. Like I say, he didn't ask for a dime or anything for it. So, uh, thanks again, Jordan. Uh, we'll see if we can get you subscribers over there and uh, maybe get your channel going a little bit. All right. I don't want to make this too long, but uh, anybody that goes over and support him, let them know uh, Road King sent you. And uh, thank him. Thank him for uh, supporting our channel. And send us something to work on, something something we can make videos of. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna make a series on this one, cleaning it up and uh, getting it running. So uh, we'll see how we make out with that. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it. I think it's a you can't even read it here, but it's a, a Johnson Seahorse, 1936 Johnson Seahorse. I think that's just called anyway. Uh, yeah, got something up top here. Johnson. Just says Johnson Motor Company. Okay. All right. Enough of this.